Hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? This is Chris at Exotic Car. Just wanted to show you a quick trip around my new build. Uh, we just got finished with this about a month and a half ago, maybe a month. This is a 1982 911 SC. Uh, obviously, you know, 911 FCs are narrow body cars. And as you can see here, this is a wide body car. So this car has underwent some pretty good metal work. Um, the rear fenders are just steel flares that were butt welded on the car. That's the correct way to do things. The front fenders are actually early turbo fenders, the complete fender, no flare. So that's an actually uh, actual factory turbo flare. Um, also, if you see the car has no sunroof, it used to have a sunroof, but we filled that panel, welded it, smoothed it, obviously painted it. Speaking of paint, first thing you might notice is that really bright blue. Uh, that is a 991 color and it is called Miami blue. And the tricky thing about Miami blue is on the video camera, it just does not pick up the color. Um, when I look at the videos I make or pictures I take of this car, it looks like a Mexico blue or Riviera blue. And I'm sure that's probably what you're thinking now. It's just like almost a baby blue look inside the, uh, in the video or pictures. And when you see it, or one of my friends or anybody that saw the pictures of the car being built, when they first seen it in real life, they were like, oh my gosh, you know, it doesn't look anything like it looks in pictures because it just, for some reason, uh, either the iPhone or just cameras in general just can't pick up the true quality of the color. Um, I would describe it as a bright turquoise. It's a beautiful blue. Everywhere I take it, first thing people say is, wow, what a beautiful color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so uh, the other thing that jumps right out, obviously, is the wheels and tires with the Continental tire lettering. Uh, those are just rubber glued on letters that you put on individually. Um, I think uh, Treadwear tire kit makes them I can't remember it's been a while and they seem to be holding up pretty good very happy with them I like the uh, race car look some people think it's over the top but um, that's basically what this car is all about anyway the wheels are 17 inch fixie Fook kind of replicas uh, I've always used these on my cars excuse me a I'm a dealer for them but B they're you know modern technology three-piece forged wheels um, fronts are 17 by 9 with a 245 4017 Continental tire, obviously. And the rears are big fat 17 by 11s. And those are running a 285 4017 Continental tire. I usually run Michelin tires, but they just quite didn't have the sizes I wanted for these wheels. And I had had a set on another car and they were kind of stretched for my liking. So we wanted to go a little wider with the rear of the 285. Michelin only offers, I believe, a 275. Um, anyway, Back to some of the, you know, the mods on the car. It's got the Xenon headlight upgrade from flat six illumination. You can find them online. These are the headlights that a lot of the RWB builds are running. Really great lights, obviously improving the factory uh, lighting from the old 80s 911s. Um, that's a fiberglass front bumper. The hood is also fiberglass. You can see the Renline tow hook in the front. Those are brand new OEM Bosch turn signals. Um, you got the Elephant Racing oil cooler behind the front bumper and then um, behind that oil cooler is also a welded in vent that takes the air uh, through the cooler and then down and out the bottom of the car before it would just go through the cooler and hit a flat wall and it would just kind of cause static back there um, and so they, we've got a vent that just kind of takes the air right out so it just keeps it more efficient the air is coming through the cooler and going right out underneath the car um, also Use the silver Porsche crest instead of uh, the factory gold. Thought it was cool. Ties in with the um, the silver on the lights or the chrome, if you will. Uh, we did, we, we reversed the windshield wipers so the driver has a clear um, path uh, with view to the road. You can see it's got the 993 arrow mirrors. Um, also, just to tie in again with the chrome and the silver, we did the early 60s. Uh, sorry, early 70s uh, 911 chrome mirror. That is a reproduction. Uh, I could not get that old mirror puck off the glass without breaking it. So that's gonna, it's, a, it's an eyesore. I hate it, but it's gonna be there until I get rid of this windshield, which somewhere down the road I will. Um, all the rubber on the car is brand new. The windshield gaskets, windows, rear windows, door handles, mirrors, anywhere there's rubber. That front chin spoiler is a 965 OEM piece from Porsche. 
uh, fits beautiful. A lot of people had questions about that. That's just a really nice touch. I didn't want raw um, paint on paint, you know, the hood laying on the bumper and the fenders on the bumper. It just didn't seem right to me with a nice fresh paint job. So we used that and it, it came out really nice. Uh, what else we got here? Obviously this car is built to be lightweight. So front bumper is fiberglass. The hood is fiberglass. The ducktail is fiberglass. The rear bumper is fiberglass. The tail light housings are fiberglass, which obviously you can't see here. But there's a whole fiberglass uh, kind of a kit. It comes with the housings and all new bulbs. And then we used uh, brand new tail light lenses, the Euro lenses, because this is actually a Euro car, rest of the world car. Uh, the Porsche strip in the middle, after we painted it, we put the old one back on and it just didn't uh, hold up to the new paint. So we went out and got a new one of those. There's the Renline tow hook on the rear. You can see the rear fiberglass bumper. We got ceramic coated uh, exhaust tips. That's an M&K exhaust. It's hooked up to Georgia's European headers. Uh, the motor is a 3.3 liter rebuilt by Engine Building Services, EBS Racing out of, uh, I believe, Phoenix or Scottsdale, Arizona. So basically they took the standard uh, three liter motor, bored and stroked it. And uh, so it's a 3.3 liter short stroke engine. Um, also another thing that kind of jumps out is the painted to match roll bar in the back seat. Got a lightweight carpet kit in there. You can see the fire extinguisher between the seats. Um, I'll get more into the interior once we open up the doors, but the roll bar is really cool. Uh, it came out really good. I just love the technical look of it. Trying to get my reflection out of there. You can see we're running the Corbo seats with five point Corbo harnesses. Um, I've had those in a couple cars now. I was really happy with them. We also did a new headliner, uh, factory non sunroof headliner. So we had to buy all the wires that were uh, that go behind there since it was a sunroof car originally. Uh, what else up here? Everything you look at's pretty much been touched, replaced. Uh, redone the fiberglass ducktail. Here's a brand new aftermarket um, engine grill. Um, the 3.3 liter billet engine size uh, piece mounted to the grill. Um, faster than a speeding ticket. It's a little sticker I'm being cheeky with. It's a good look at the wide body. It's a really neat car. It's fun, lightweight. I'd say about somewhere in between 2,200 pounds. 2,300 pounds. My last one was 2,314 pounds, but it had a sunroof, which is about 50 to 60 pounds from what I'm told of, you know, between the engine and all, or the uh, sunroof motor and all the different parts that go in there. Uh, take you to the interior of the car. Let's see if I can do this without uh, trying to get the sun at the right angle here. I don't edit my videos, folks. I just kind of do this on the, on the fly, so bear with me. Uh, RS lightweight door panels. We use the Renline uh, billet door handle uh, dials, knobs, whatever you want to call them. There's the, the billet, uh, the knob. We use the uh, red leather pull strap instead of the usual fabric one. Um, everything in the door jams is new, um, even down to the striker plates, uh, even down to the door throws, down to the rubber gaskets for the, um, the light, the interior lights to come on. It's, it's just all really nice in there good look at the roll bar again here's the core valve seats five point harnesses and we sent the cushions out to be uh restitched in houndstooth just to kind of throw back to the old days the old 911s renline billet floorboards wevo shift kit wevo handle we've also got the wevo uh you can't see it back there behind that billet piece underneath there's the wevo uh shift what is it PC, precision shift joint yeah that's it so that's all we vote we got also the uh, Wevo engine mounts and training mounts and the Renline uh, engine um, uh, gosh what's it called I forget the name of it but the engine mount like the bar inside there um, radio delete AC delete Momo Proto Tipo uh, quick release steering wheel with the Renline quick release mechanism behind it um, there's a good look at the mirror, chrome mirror. I got a built-in um, Valentine one hardwired into the car so I don't have the cable hanging down and going into the cigarette lighter, which I don't think works anyway. Um, so here's another look. 
There's the nice carpet kit. We got the black carpet. And this is the thick ply carpet, but it's still lightweight. Um, no floor mats, obviously. Got a Halon fire extinguisher in there in between the seats. Yeah, and then everything's really nice and tight. Typical 911 door thump when you shut it. So it's a great car. Uh, I would imagine it's about 300 horsepower with 3.3, maybe like 280 to 300 in there. Um, somewhere in there, we haven't dynoed it yet. It's got 40 millimeter PMOs. I probably could come up to 46s on that. Either that or I wanna go ITBs and do some uh, fuel electronic fuel injection with it. And uh, let's see, I'd show you the motor, but it's nothing special. Um, I imagine people wanna see it anyway. The only shortcut I would say on this car that I took, oh, here's another cool thing. Porsche no longer makes the VINs for these, so I had to order that. A guy in Poland makes reproductions. You just send him all the information. So that's how that came out. So you got your, your, no, your new striker plates, your new VIN, and all your new rubber and plastic in these areas. So just when you open up the door, it's just got a really clean look to it. As you can see, everything's new in here. Smells really good. <laughs> um, sounds really good. And I don't know if I'll be able to start it up by myself while I'm filming out here. Here's the quick release. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. There you go. So there's the Ren line piece. You can look at the five point harnesses by Corbo, which I know there's Recaro and all that good stuff out there, but I've used Corbo. They got the black shiny plastic behind them. I really like that and they're super lightweight. Um, they look kind of faded in this when I'm looking through the video camera, but they're black, black. Look really good. Let's see here. I'm just gonna show you the engine. My PCA sticker. 993 mirrors, I think I mentioned those. So what I was saying about the shortcut that I took was before I open up the motor is I uh, was planning on painting this the original color, which was Grand Prix white, right up to the very end. And my buddy says, you, you know, you're spending all this money on this car. You know, why don't you make it something you really, really want as far as color wise? Because white, I've had a Grand Prix white 993. I've had a Grand Prix white 930 turbo. And this is basically a track street show car, if you want to say, um, if it qualifies for that. It's, it's a neat little car, this one is. So I said, you know what, let's do it. And, um, by that time, the car had already had a lot of metal work and everything was getting kind of pretty much ready to be painted white. And so I wasn't able to media blast the car and take it down to bare metal, the whole shell of the car. So I basically left the interior of the engine and the interior of the hood white. So that would be my only kind of, if I could go back in time and I knew I was going to paint it blue from the very beginning of the build, I would have done the whole chassis in the blue. So when you open up the engine bay, that it obviously would be blue and not white. So. Um, the engine hasn't been detailed out. I haven't done much to it. And you know, like I said, it's a 3.3 with 40 millimeter PMOs. We're running Brad Penn racing oil in it, K&N uh, oil filter. Um, there's the Wevo motor mounts. We also got them on the tranny. MSD ignition. Uh, PMO carbs. You can tell, you know, it's not the prettiest motor. I haven't detailed it out. I haven't gotten into all that stuff yet, but I'm going to, we want to, like I said, thinking about going EFI with it. Um, all this stuff under here has been replated. That's been replated um, with all the correct, you know, coatings. I believe it's zinc or something like that. So the whole front's gutted. There's no tire. There's no spare tire. There's no, um, I'll open that up as well. Again, it's white under there, so. Bear with me here, I'm gonna try to open this by myself while I'm holding the camera. The car's dirty right now, you can see all the bugs. I've been driving the crap out of it, really enjoying it. There's the fiberglass hood. And you can see there's nothing to it. I even took the lid off there. I gotta get some stuff to fill these holes. Um, there's the ballast for the Xenon headlights. And another cool thing, I got a three and a half pound golf cart battery in the car right now. Uh, lithium Eon battery. Car starts, starts right up, but I do keep it on a charger. And there's my hood prop. Got a little 
little carbon fiber hood prop here. This this extends to different lengths, so I can, you know, hold, bear with me here. So it'll sit like that. So when I'm messing around up in the front, I'll just do that. It extends to like 50 inches. Also good for the rear. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to have to get a buddy of mine to help me with the filming of it starting. Um, I wish I could. It takes a little bit to get warmed up. Um, it's got, you know, the 3.3 liter short stroke Mod S cams. Uh, George's European headers, M and K, two in, two out exhaust, and it sounds mean, man. You can you can hear that thing coming down the road. But uh, the Miami Blue, it's just it turned out really really good. Um, obviously got a lot into this car. It's it took a long time. It was 15 months, um, probably longer than it should have, but everything was really thought out, and uh, we're really happy with it. I hope you guys like the video. Let me see what you have to say with your comments. Um, and at the end, I just gotta let everybody know I'm very fortunate to to have fun with these kind of cars. Uh, by no means a rich man, and um, this is my fifth 911 air cooled car. And I kind of look back and just pinch myself because uh, I've really worked hard to to earn these things. And I just have a started an eBay business when I was young, and it kind of somehow sprouted up and and enabled me to to kind of play with some cars and live out my dreams. And um, this is kind of the pinnacle of all the cars I've ever built all rolled into one. I took a lot of uh, aspects from my prior cars and put them into this, uh, to this build. So if you want to see my other cars, click on my other videos. I think they're all documented pretty well on my YouTube channel. Um, and the next video I'll do is um, I'll try to get the car running so you guys can hear it, not the sound comes through on computers but uh um I'll, I'll try to give it a shot and we'll also try to get some rolling shots of it you know maybe some gopro stuff but um i'm just filming it on an iphone right now just trying to let you guys get a quick peek at this car uh not completely happy with the gaps on the ducktail as you can see on the right side it's a little wider than the left it was perfect and then we put that grill on and the curvature of the grill and the curvature of the ducktail were different because they're obviously two different aftermarket pieces, two different companies. And when we put that on and shimmed it and all that, it just threw off the uh, the gapping, which, like I said, was perfect at one time. So we're gonna have to fiddle around with that. But um, you know, that's if that's the worst of my concerns with the car, I'll, I'll settle for it. It is fiberglass after all, and it, it takes a lot of work to get those pieces to to kind of set in there right. But um, yeah, so this is it. Again, it's a 1982. 911 SC, 3.3 liter short stroke engine, wide body, Miami blue. Uh, I guess I would say heavily modded car. Um, and it's been a real hit everywhere we've taken it. It's just, uh, it's not a car you wanna, if you don't want attention at gas stations going down the road or wherever you might park it, don't drive this car because this is the car that, you know, people yell out what year when you're driving through, you know, downtown or something like that. They want to take pictures of it. They want to take videos of it. It's just one of those cars. And, uh, you know, that's cool. You know, it lets me know that people still are enjoying these cars and um, just as much as I do. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. See you later.